This TIDLP Labs video will cover the major portions of a datasheet for a digital micromirror device, or DMD, used for display applications. The overview page is the first page of the DMD datasheet. The document name and publication date are in the upper right-hand corner of this page as well as all subsequent pages. The device name is shown in the center top of the first page of the DMD datasheet. The main features of the DMD, including the array size diagonal measurement, 0.47 inches in this example, the resolution, the mirror size, and tilt angle, along with other features specific to this device, are shown in Section 1. Section 2 describes applications where this device may be used. While this is not meant to be an exhaustive list, it is a good starting point for what types of end equipments would benefit from using this DMD. Section 3 gives a brief descriptive overview of the device along with what other chips must be used in conjunction with this DMD. The device information table in Section 3 shows the part number, package description, and size of the DMD. Also included on the first page of a DMD datasheet, you will typically find a simplified schematic that shows the devices that comprise the DLP chipset. Section 4 shows the revision history of the datasheet, while Section 5 is the pin configuration and functions. The package and pins diagram shows the layout of the DMD package from the bottom side view. Each pin on the package has a coordinating letter and number designation, A30 being in the lower right corner of this example. The pin functions table in Section 5 describes every pin on the package. Each pin is identified by the pin number designation of a letter and number as we just covered. A descriptive name for the pin, whether it is an input or output, what the signaling type is, along with any internal termination and internal package trace lengths for critical timing pins are shown in this table. Internal package trace lengths are used when matching trace lengths between the DLP controller and DMD. Further details on layout are covered in Section 10. Section 6 covers the specification details for this DMD. The specification section is one of the most important sections of the datasheet as it describes the limits and tolerances for reliable operation of the DMD in your end equipment. The first set of information is the absolute maximum ratings. This shows the limits beyond which permanent, non-reversible damage to the device may occur. These are stress ratings only and functional operation of the device is not implied nor should be expected beyond the recommended operating conditions. Non-operational storage conditions and the ESD ratings for the device are shown next. Note that non-operating storage conditions apply to all conditions that the device will be exposed to during its lifetime, including transportation and shipping. The following table and description shows the recommended operating conditions for the device. The recommended operation description includes minimum, nominal, and maximum values for power, interfaces, temperatures, and other specifications that must be met for reliable operation. The thermal information portion shows the thermal resistance constant for this particular device package. This is used when calculating array and window aperture temperatures. Figure 1 shows that the maximum recommended array temperature depends on the long-term average of the landed micromirror duty cycle. The explanation of landed micromirror duty cycle is covered in Section 7. The electrical characteristics and capacitance tables show the levels required for reliable operation of this device. The next portion shows the timing requirements that must be met for particular signals on particular interfaces. This is given by a table, as well as timing diagrams, which show the relationship of signal transitions one relative to another. Proper timing will be ensured by using the required TI controllers and other devices that comprise the DLP chipset described in Sections 3 and 7 of the DMD datasheet, along with following the PCB design requirements. The System Mounting and Interface Load section shows the maximum mounting force that may be used to mount the device to the electronics. Stresses beyond this could cause physical damage to the device. The last two sections in the specification portion of the datasheet are the Micromirror Array Physical and Optical Characteristics. The Array Physical Characteristics contains a table that shows the numbers and sizes for the active mirrors in the entire array. 
There is also a diagram showing the array layout with the direction of incoming light and off-state light path indicated. The array optical characteristics shows the nominal tilt for each mirror and another diagram showing the light paths. Following this are descriptions of the window characteristics. Section 7 is the detailed description portion of the document. It has an overview paragraph similar to the description in Section 3. The functional block diagram that follows conveys a picture of how data and control signals flow into the DMD. The feature description paragraphs cover the power interface and timing necessary for the device to operate successfully. Device functional modes are controlled by the display controller, not by the device itself. The description of these modes is covered in the display controller datasheet and user's guides. The optical interface and system image quality section describes topics which are critical to the optical design in order to maximize the image quality of the resulting display system. These topics include illumination overfill, stray light control, and the matching of illumination and exit pupils. The following section describes how to calculate the micromirror array temperature. The thermal test points on the device are shown in a diagram, and a set of equations on how to calculate array temperature are given. It is important to calculate array temperature and maintain a temperature within the recommended operating conditions in order to ensure reliable operation of the DMD over its lifetime. The last portion of the detailed description section covers the topic of landed duty cycle. The micromirrors on a DMD must be able to transition from the on to the off state and back in order to make the image on screen. The micromirror landed on versus landed off duty cycle denotes the amount of time, as a percentage, that an individual micromirror is landed in the on state versus the amount of time the same micromirror is landed in the off state. This section describes how to measure the landed duty cycle. Section 8 is the application and implementation portion of the datasheet. Note that this section is informative only. The application information describes in general terms the function of the DMD device. The typical application portion shows a possible application diagram showing the device, along with other components necessary to accomplish a particular function. The diagram may also include other integrated circuits not included in the DLP chipset. This portion of the datasheet also contains design requirements and design procedure information. The last portion of Section 8 describes DMD dye temperature sensing. Some DMDs have a built-in thermal diode that measures the temperature at one corner of the DMD. This section covers how to connect a temperature sensor, such as the TI-TMP411, to the temperature diode. Section 9 covers power supply recommendations. While the power up and power down sequencing is controlled by the DLP display controller, this section covers the power up procedure as well as the power down procedure. A timing diagram showing relative transitions of individual inputs is shown. Board layout is covered in Section 10 of the DMD datasheet. General layout guidelines are described in the first portion. Layout example is then given with a board layer stack up, impedance requirements, and trace width and spacing requirements. Section 11 describes device and documentation information. The device name or nomenclature is shown. This is how to read the part number and decipher specifics about the orderable part. The device markings show the actual markings and what they mean that are present on the bottom side of the DMD itself. The documentation support that follows this includes listing and links to related documentation, how to receive notification of documentation updates, community resources, as well as trademarks and ESD cautions. The final portion of the datasheet is Section 12. This section describes the mechanical, packaging, and orderable information for the DMD. The Package Option Addendum shows the orderable part number from TI, along with its status, active or otherwise. Also provided in this section are the mechanical drawings of the DMD necessary to create a PCB to interface to the device. 
We hope you have enjoyed learning about the section specific to the DMD datasheet used for display applications. For more information, please visit ti.com/dlp. Thanks for watching.